It's a trade show format. We talked about trying to do a speed dating to try to match mentors and entrepreneurs. It turns out, and Kathy Renault uh, here did a bunch of research for us uh, last year on mentoring programs around the world, uh, or at least around the country. Uh, and there's very much still an, a lot of art and no particular good single process that makes this stuff work. Quick overview of what we're trying to do here with Top Gun for both the entrepreneurs and the mentors. It's an entrepreneurship acceleration program. That's the way we describe it. So we're trying to compress three or four years of progress, which you know you can achieve out in the field by making a lot of mistakes and learning the hard way. But we're trying to compress that time through being able to access uh, all, all the mentors and, and, and some of the other uh, things that'll be going on in the sessions that we have. We're trying to help you see the long view in your business, but also identify some very short-term and intermediate goals that you should be focusing on to take, uh, take your company to the next level. Um, we do hope that the relationships that you're gonna be starting to build tonight will be something that you can take on uh, throughout the development of your business. They've continued to be able to go back to their Top Gun mentors over time when they've had questions that they think those mentors might be helpful uh, in answering. Many of the, the entrepreneurs, they start off the program, they have some very specific questions that they want answered. And by the end of the program, they realize that there were a whole bunch of questions they didn't even know to ask that they've gotten addressed. There are a variety of motivations of why mentors do what they do. And I hope some of you will, will, will take each of these things and, and really get a lot out of it. I think all of the mentors who have been through the program and are still coming back, I think they all say, this was very much a good use of my time. Overall, what we're trying to achieve is build a self-sustaining mentor network and over the course of 2013, we hope to do some new things so that you become a community that, yes, you're associated with Top Gun, but you're also associated with the entrepreneurial community as a whole and really helping uh, uh, revitalize the main economy. This year, we're sort of phase one is the mentors are making some initial suggestions of companies they might be interested in. In and then now the entrepreneurs after tonight you're going to start seeing people that you might be interested in and then uh, there'll be a little bit of chaos as there often is and some of those things will be obvious and then some of them you know the the MCED staff and then our our partners up in Humane uh, Orono uh, will all make those connections so we'll make sure everybody's got some connection to mentors. We have several models for those relationships. Uh, historically, we've had a lead mentor relationship where it's a one-to-one -one connection. But last year, we said, you know, advisory boards might be uh, a good option for some companies. And uh, Kay Aiken, who'll be talking, uh, she's one of those entrepreneurs who did that. So all of the entrepreneurs will say, well, which model might be right for me? And it'll be a mix of, what's right for your company and then you know whatever chemistry you achieve with the the mentors you're talking to we talk about lead the lead mentors there are some people who have the time to to do uh, to have a pretty close working relationship others may just have time to be on a team and yet others just have time for coffee I'll be talking a lot more about this concept of accelerating the uh, addressing the death threats uh, so 13 out of the 18 entrepreneurs who went through Top Gun prep, you know that the concept of death threats is something out of innovation engineering. It's a relatively straightforward concept. These are the big things that are the barrier to your company either being successful or achieving the growth if you're already out there in the marketplace. And so we're gonna use some of the tools from innovation engineering, very simple light process, to try to bring a focus to the mentor relationship to make sure that there is actually weekly progress uh, towards addressing the biggest issues that your companies face. But importantly, there are all gonna be a lot of other issues that you can't categorize as a death threat. So for example, um, you know, I, I haven't managed people before, I need some help, and so you'll be talking to some mentors about what that process looks like. Not necessarily the imminent threat to your business, but definitely an important thing for being successful. During the course of the, the program through May, 
go and reach out to a bunch of other mentors who maybe not on, they're not on your team, but they're people you think you'd like to go have coffee with. Um, a number of the entrepreneurs have taken advantage of that, and they, you know they've ended up meeting another five to ten people who are outside of their original team. And again, that, that becomes a community that you can take with you uh, as your company grows. All of you should be ready at any point in time to give a three-minute pitch. This is the class program. Um, you know, so thinking big, uh, salesmanship, people issues, bootstrapping, financing, presentations, and legal issues. Using mentors on specific projects where there's a specific milestone that's the sort of next big thing the company needs to achieve and we bring in mentors uh, on an as-needed basis to address uh, those specific projects. We also think in terms of the background of the mentors, in general being generalists, people who have been there and done that, uh, successful entrepreneurs and early stage investors. Now some of the mentors are also professional services providers. Just want to be clear that you know we're all in business to make money. So these are the general kind of uh, rules of engagement. Um, the, we're expecting that uh, some of the people here are kind of doing the try before you buy. So you entrepreneurs get to see people uh, and figure out whether or not there's somebody that you might want to have a professional relationship with going forward. These are the kind of things that, you know, in all of their experience, they've said, are important uh, for having a really solid entrepreneurship uh, mentoring relationship. The best mentors relationships eventually come, become two-way. It's kind of an interesting insight that you know, the, you're, you're actually learning an awful lot from the entrepreneurs that you're working with. Um, clearly separate opinion from fact. Be optimistic. Um, we're, you know, this stuff is very hard, uh, and we really want to be supportive of the entrepreneurs, uh, and optimism is an essential part of that. Uh, provide specific, actionable advice. Uh, it, the, the sp we ask the entrepreneurs to be very specific, and it takes a lot of work for them to be specific sometimes about what they're up to. And similarly, the mentors need to, to do their job. For those of you who haven't done a startup, it's really hard. Uh, so uh, just, just be aware of that as the entrepreneurs are, are struggling through all of this. And finally, for those of you who may be new to the mentoring experience, you know, try to do one new company every year. Uh, just like a lot of other things in life, experience really does help. And what we're trying to achieve overall is a community of mentors who have these repeat experiences, get better at it over time, and that collectively will improve the quality of the entrepreneurial uh, ecosystem we have here. So let's move on to the next part of the program, which is a panel of experienced mentors and entrepreneurs who have been through Top Gun. Uh, Tony, you want to introduce yourself and kick things off for us, please? Sure. Thanks, Don. Uh, Tony Perkins uh, from Bernstein Shore and Tech Ventures Group here in Portland. Um, I was there at the beginning. Um, <laughs> I've been a part of the advisory board that put the program together, and I can tell you that version 4.0 is already off to a great start. I can, I can see the difference. Uh, the, the Top Gun prep is a great program. Now you're going to get into the meat of it. I know that I've met many of you in the room. I know many of the other mentors here. It's a great group of people. And first and foremost, remember, it's about the people. And so the points that Don made earlier about connecting with as many folks as you can, finding the folks that fit your team, is critical because as, as many of you probably read, heard, whatever, startups are a team sport. Uh, they just do not happen without multidisciplinary teams that are all rowing in the same direction. And sometimes somebody rowing in the other direction is okay too because one of the things that will happen here, and it's always a positive, it's constructive. And I know the mentors that are involved in this group are very constructive and have a lot of empathy. but. When you're challenged and, and people are talking in ways that may be considered deconstruction, I talk about basically breaking the business down again, look at all the pieces and parts and put it back together in a way that makes sense to achieve your goals, your near and midterm goals. I know we all want to make a lot of money or make a comfortable living and have a lifestyle business, but even those businesses uh, that uh, whether, you're, whether you're looking for that lifestyle business or whether you're looking for the big scale up and you want to be the next Google, 
There's some basic blocking and tackling that goes into each and every one of them, and that's what this program is about. And everyone here I know uh, in the mentor group is, is ready, willing, and able to provide you with some assistance on one or more of those aspects. So uh, I'll be looking forward to meeting many of you that I haven't met, and uh, I hope my attendance is up this year from last year, and I'll, I'll be here at many of the sessions. So I look forward to working with all of you. Great. Thank you. My name's Kip Moore. I, I've been a venture capital investor for, for 30 years. And when you, when I made venture capital investments, almost all the time I've ended up on the board. And I will tell you that being on the board of an early stage company is a mentoring experience. <laughs> so I have 30 years of mentoring experience already yeah. before yeah. before Top Gun arrived. And I have been a, been a mentor for, for companies each of the Top Gun years. Uh, and and I have, have been very happy. One of the people I was a mentor for is, is sitting here, which is a sign that he, oh, I don't know what that means. We got along. Yeah. I, I just, I'd just like to pass on a couple of, of pieces of advice that are mostly for the, for the mentors here, but also for the entrepreneurs. Uh, the first one is that, that, uh, that as, as Don alluded to, the, the relationship between a mentor and a mentee is, is a partnership. And, and it requires that you trust and respect each other, which takes getting to know each other a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, and also for it to be successful, it's required that, that the mentor brings some skills and knowledge that, that the company or the entrepreneur need, or it doesn't really go anywhere. And those are things that this, this not just tonight, but this is your chance to find that stuff out. And it's very important to try to find the best person you can to be a fit or people uh, to fit with, with your, your business. Uh, the second thing I'd say, which is not, not so obvious from some of the things Don said, he's, he's much more uh, either optimistic or aggressive than I am. <laughs> when, when you set a plan of what you're gonna do with the mentor and how they're going to help you, be realistic. Do not, do not for example, say, we're gonna build a great business plan in 10 weeks. <laughs> because you're probably not. Uh, from a standing start, that's almost impossible. So set your goals recently and agree, well, no, we, we, we won't be able to do the complete business plan that we're going to turn into this great company. But we're going to do a great job on competitive analysis or something, one of the pieces or two or three of the pieces that are important. Take on things that you can do and do well, not a whole bunch of stuff that you can't do well. Um, and my name's Tom Hall. I, uh, my company's Hall Internet Marketing. We're a technology-enabled internet marketing agency here in Portland. Um, and I, uh, I think that the the you know the most the, the things that I got out of this working with Kip, it was great to have have somebody one-on-one -on -one to bounce ideas off of. But it, it was really um, using him as a sounding board throughout the whole process. Um, because the great thing is if you're, if you're open to getting feedback from people, you're going to get a lot of feedback through this program. Um, and, uh, and it's great to kind of find your way through, through that because you get a lot of people's opinions. And, um, and I think having that one-on-one you know, -on -one time with Kip to sort through that stuff. And, and to you know, chase my own you know, fears and, 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 uh, and um, you know, nervousness about what I was doing and what I was doing. I had an existing company. It was 10 years old, I think, at the time, or 12 years old at the time. And so I had an existing company, and I had to protect employees and other things as I went off to figure out what we were going to do next. And to Tony's point, you know, we, we deconstructed our company and reconstructed it um, in, in, in the, um, you know, a year or probably eight months after the Top Gun program. Um, and it was a good experience. Hey, can you remember any particular question you asked or issue that you bounced off that was particularly, you know, like, like maybe he, he, he gave you advice you didn't expect? Yeah, at, at the time, at the time, I had great visions of taking, we, we, we're, our, our company uses data to, to market, help other companies market online. So we collect a lot of data. And the purpose of, of Top Gun was I was going to spin that off into a software as a service model, charge everybody a little bit, and millions of people use it, and I'll be a millionaire. And I was running that by Kip, and he scratched his head one time, and he goes, customer service. How are you going <laughs> to service all these customers? What happens if, they, uh, if they're unhappy? What happens if they have a problem logging in? How are you going to, in this moment, and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> customer service. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot I was going to have customers. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> okay.
I'm Kay Aiken, Introspective Systems, and we're an architectural design software company um, and Top Gun last year. Um, and by the way, t one of the best things I've ever did was do Top Gun. Mm -hmm. You will get a lot out of it, but you get out of it what you put into it. So just remember that. So my model was a little bit different, and it wasn't just the mentors here, but it was a model. Tony is part of the advisory, my advisory board. Um, there's other professionals, and it's a lot of people in this room that I can call when I have a particular problem, um, and I make a point of doing that. So some are formal advisory board members. Some are, you know, officially we have some paperwork with some of them. Um, they have a little bit of stock. I don't think we ever finished that. <laughs> 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 they will get stock. Yeah. Um, um, and some things I learned about that is one of a, none of us know everything about everything, right? And know what you don't know and know where you can get what you don't know. And that's what you need to do with mentors and advise, board of advisors. That's how I built my board of advisors. It's people that are complementary to me, but aren't me. Um, I also looked for people, and Mike up there was really good at it, was challenge me, much like I think Kip did, was, what? Are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I'll give you um, a little bit of, of history about my advisory board, okay? My advisory board is actually international. Somebody from Abu Dhabi, somebody from the Isle of Man in the UK, uh, Vegas area, Hawaii, all over the world. And it sounds like a road trip to me. It is a road trip. <laughs> And interestingly, one of my advisors, who I've known for three years and has been instrumental in my business, is now coming on as CEO and moving back from the Middle East to do it. So that's the power of an advisory board, and that's the power of mentoring. These people become your friends. They become instrumental to your business, and you use them. I'm, I'm going to ask a question. So, Tom, we, we didn't back – when you were in Top Gun, we didn't really talk about the advisory board model. Um, do you think that the the one-on-one -on -one relationship was the right thing for you? And uh, you know, how how would you go about thinking about cho choosing one-on-one -on -one versus uh, a, a, an advisory board? I think it just. I, I think I was a bit of a lost soul. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time to get myself on track. Mm. Um, but but um, since you know, I, I had a lot of ideas, and uh, I had a lot of ideas, and I needed to get my, my head around what to do. But um, but uh, since then, you know, I have an advisory board on my organization now, mm -hmm. so I, I found the benefit of that. But I really did enjoy the, the ability to s sit down and, 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 uh, and have a go-to person, just one go-to person. Um, Kip and I met um, every week before the, before the Top Gun event, well, most weeks before the Top Gun mm -hmm. meeting that we would have. Mm -hmm. You know, be prepared to... Get people together if you need to. Know who to ask for. You know, know what the qualities of these people. You know, if I had Kip on my board, I know who what I'd be talking to him about. I'd be talking to him about investment, but I'm not going to ask him about technology. Very briefly, we're going to have staff assigned to one of your companies. So each of us is going to have three or four companies. We're going to do a weekly email uh, to the entrepreneur and the mentor team saying. What's your progress? You said you were going to focus on this issue. You said you were going to go do this. How's it going? And then we'll be keep, keep keeping track of those email threads and something we have called IncuTrack. So with that, I want to thank the panel very much for uh, your insight. Uh, last year, um, I was uh, a mentor uh, for a, um, a software as a service uh, tech startup. And I got so much out of it. It's interesting. Um, I was an entrepreneur 18 years ago and have an established company now that it grew up. And I, I learned so much through the, through the mentoring process. Uh, and um, uh, the associated 
material that we covered, I found very useful, even though I, our business has is, is been established for a couple decades. Number one, remember what you're doing is inherently charismatic. People love entrepreneurs and people who start co uh, companies. Uh, everybody likes that. And don't be afraid to ask for advice whenever uh, the opportunity presents itself, uh, if it's your mentor or someone else, because people also love giving advice. So y you can really ask for a lot uh, from, from the community if you're starting a company. Uh, the other thing I would say is that I've become convinced that, that building a network and getting advice all the time is the, 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 uh, the most profound thing you can do for your success. And a key to that is learning to really listen to people and then filter their advice. Because some of the advice is going to be uh, uh, good and some of it's going to be bad. But learning as much as you can from other people and learning how to separate, think about what someone says, listen to them, think about it, and says, you know, they're right, or I'm not sure that quite fits what I'm doing, and here's why. The key is, is as they listed, is among other things, be very open about how much time you have. And lots of times, you can get an awful lot done in a short period of time. You don't need uh, I, th I think pithy advice, uh, uh, clear, straightforward, simple, concise advice is the most useful sort of advice. So you do need the time to do some reading and uh, y y it is important to, to uh, hit as many of the classes as you can. But uh, as long as you're open about how much time and realistic about how much time you can spend on it, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it, and if you say I can only do X and that doesn't uh, suit, then, um, uh, then no harm done. The vast majority was either in per or person or email, and I, I can't ever remember a phone. Uh, and, you know, I was lucky because the people I was mentoring are all in the greater Portland area, and I'm always traveling around anyhow, so it was, it, it was pretty easy to, to uh, meet up uh, coming or going. Uh, and then email is, was very useful. Uh, and the nice thing about the email is we could be a group of people corresponding. Uh, the, the group we had was a definitely advisory group. And you could, you could all, um, the, uh, the person we were mentoring could send out a question or give us an update and they could get the, re we could see each other's responses and that worked quite well. And when it, when it comes to time, uh, if you're concerned, obviously, if you're retired, and you have some time and you want, it, you want to be more involved doing the one-on-one, -on -one, I would think would work well. But we all had jobs and, uh, and other demands on the time. And the nice thing about the advisory council is it really spreads the load out. And it really, it wasn't, I, it wasn't uh, uh, greatly time consuming at all. I really enjoyed it and it was, it was uh, it, as far as I was concerned, it was, it was all just fun. I really do believe that A, uh, it, it would have taken what it took me, uh, Don was saying, three or four years. And for me, I think it was more like seven to ten. Uh, but um, it, it, it uh, uh, sig significantly compresses that into, into just nine months. And um, the other thing I'd say is I think for mentors, uh, we, to be very explicit about it, there's a lot of value in just the relationships you build up with other mentors because there's a, there's a lot of, one of the things I've gotten out of this is meeting people who have uh, either been able to give me good advice or uh, spin out business relationships which have been quite fruitful. So uh, you, you win from uh, uh, seeing a lot of neat companies get off the ground but also from meeting a lot of interesting people. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yes. I would, would definitely recommend being a mentor. Joe Michaud? J-O-E-M-I-C-H-A-U-D. And for this program, I'm a mentor, but I also uh, am identified as under my company, Constant Rat, Inc. Uh, this, is, this will be my second year doing mentoring. Um, and the first year I mentored uh, a client down here in the Portland group, and also I had somebody in Bangor. So that was interesting. It was like a long distance mentoring relationship. What's some of the good stuff about being a mentor? Uh, I learned a lot. Uh, about uh, 
startup businesses and the different ways that people approach businesses and the classwork I found very interesting myself. Uh, I know my, my mentees got a lot out of the classwork, but, uh, but I did too. Uh, a lot of what I do professionally um, is I do business coaching uh, with media startups and I found a lot of the, the, what I found in the program transferring. Uh, and so what the mentees get out of the mentoring relationship is uh, I find that I was able to bring a lot of different perspective. Uh, I wouldn't say I brought a lot of expertise, but obviously if I had some experience I could bring to the discussion, I would do that. Uh, but for the most part, I found myself just asking questions and, uh, and probing a little bit and maybe taking people down a path to try to think about their, uh, their idea a little bit differently, uh, point them towards some research that they might want to do, and uh, so it was, a, it was a good relationship that way. I think they got a lot out of it. You know, I kind of want to get more involved maybe and, and uh, you know, there's a tendency, everybody has a tendency to want to get in and fix something, but this is their business. Uh, and so, you know, it, it, I really need to respect that and respect the fact that they're doing what they are passionate about and uh, so uh, forming those boundaries and uh, again, that's helped me with my own uh, professional coaching work because again, you know, I'm working with people who are startups and they, uh, uh, you know, they have their own passion and I find I can, I can push them just so far and then I realize, you know, I'm, again, I'm coming close to crossing a line and so I, I'm very careful to respect where they are. Uh, the people I worked with were very open uh, to, uh, to working with me and uh, we found some time, in one case we got together for lunch, uh, in another case I went up to Bangor and met uh, the mentee and some of his team and uh, we just got into some conversations and kind of hit it off pretty well that way. One of the mentees uh, decided to try to build more of an advisory group so he actually organized meetings and, and that was interesting. Uh, it was interesting just to see how different people approach the whole relationship. I've recommended Top Gun mentoring to many people. Uh, it's probably not for everybody but I think anybody who feels like they're on a, their own learning path uh, I think it's a really great experience because I, I've gotten a lot out of the program myself.